It's Ali, the guy who likes pandas. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good because it's good to feel good, as you always know that. Today is my fourth anniversary on YouTube and I thought as something cool to do would be to do my Draw My Life video which I did two years ago and go back and update it. I was born on November 19th 1996 at Stoke Mandeville Hospital in Aylesbury, England and I was born at 9.57 in the morning where my mum was there, my dad was there and then my older brother Matt was also there. At the age of three, I was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome and till this day, it has had a big impact on the way I have lived my life. On January 16th, 2001 was the day I started school at the age of four and I remember my parents taking me there. And also another thing is the fact that I used to live across the road from where my primary school was. Also, this time was around the first time where I went on a holiday abroad and this was to Spain and in the next few years I would go back to Spain two more times. At the age of 10 was the time in which I went through a phase of having long curly hair and looking back at some pictures I've seen of myself with curly hair, I cringe a lot. Also around this time was when I was at middle school and I remember it so much. Oh look, here's me returning with the curly hair. And it was also around the later years of middle school was when I experienced a little thing we like to call puberty. At the age of 13, I was told by my dad that we would be moving out to a country called Kuwait in the Middle East, which required me to leave the UK essentially and go out there and live with him and it meant that I ha would have to start a new school which I was completely unaware of and had to restart from scratch essentially and it was a sad time. So in September of 2010 me and my family would say goodbye to family and friends at Heathrow Airport before embarking on our new life that we would live out in Kuwait. So with this new start it meant that I had to start a new school in which I was super nervous starting at and I had no friends there so it meant that I had to restart from scratch. In the two years I was at this school I made some really cool friends such as the people who are appearing on the board right now and you guys know who you are. On March 12th 2011, exactly four years ago today, I decided to do something that would affect my life in a big way. I started my YouTube channel, Hollywood96. After posting one rather cringy video, which you can actually still watch by the way, I took out a few months and I decided to watch a few YouTubers to understand how confident they feel when they're doing their videos to give me confidence for me when I'm filming my videos. Later that year, I decided to tell people at school that, hey, I make YouTube videos, you should come and watch them. And oddly enough, people at school started viewing my videos and while the response that I got was really cool, there were a few haters, but hey, haters gonna hate. And the responses that I got on some of my videos were so cool that I decided to make even more. In April of 2012, I went on a trip to Thailand with my school and we did some pretty cool things such as mountain biking, kayaking and also jungle trekking. And it was around this time where I realised I love travelling. If it isn't worth mentioning, I pretty much spent every night dancing to LMFAO, Sexy and I Know It, and while people thought I was being a bit weird, I just thought YOLO. Two months later, it was time for me to leave Kuwait as I actually finished my school there, and the initial plan was I was going to move back to the UK anyway, but it was really sad leaving some of my cool friends that I made out there, but as I say, it was time to move on once again. A week into being back in the UK, it was a new start and a new school once again and I made some pretty cool friends while I was at that school. Rather unfortunately, in January of 2013, my granddad passed away. In my opinion, I consider my granddad as an influence for me starting YouTube because he used to do a lot of video recording and it's what influenced me to pick up a camera and start making videos. While I wouldn't let this event affect me, I decided to have a change of character where I went short, hair-wise, not height-wise, because I had curly hair for so many years that, do you know what, it was time to have a change, so no more curly hair. Around this time, I decided to start doing vlogging in public after seeing so many YouTubers doing it themselves. I thought, do you know what, I'm going to give it a go. So yeah, vlogging! 
Later that year, I went to my first ever YouTube convention, which was in fact Summer in the City 2013, and I can remember meeting so many YouTubers and also meeting up with a few friends who I knew from YouTube as well. Another thing that I realised around this time was that I love acting and since I've been doing it at school for a while I thought, do you know what, I'm going to pursue it outside of school. 2014 came around and it was in fact my last year in school and I ended off my time at school with a bang. First of the things that I did was going to Germany with my school where we went to places such as Munich and Nuremberg. And then my exam period came along and my goodness it was stressful. I remember spending a lot of sleepless nights just simply revising for my exams. But in the end, I think it all paid off. And then June came around and that meant that I was now finished with school. So no more exams, no more school. And this practically meant that I had the whole summer to do whatever I wanted. So yeah, summer holidays are fun. It was also around this time that I decided to tell YouTube that I suffered from Asperger's Syndrome and after posting that video, it got a great response. I mean, it got shared by 1080, it got shared by Childline, and it also got shared by Joe Weller, oddly enough. With the summer in full swing, I did some pretty cool things such as hanging out with friends like my friend Becky, where we went to Birmingham, and we also filmed some pretty cool videos, and then also I met up with my friend Jack, who ironically I met the day before, and yeah, and then it was summer in the city again. One of the highlights of Summer in the City was going to Louise Pentland slash Sprinkle Glitter's Glitter Time Q&A where I asked a question of do you like going to new countries and she said she doesn't really like it and then I also said that I don't like it and then I talked about how I find it really anxious going to new countries and then also talking about how YouTube has given me confidence. And after that I got a round of applause which was really unexpected. And then I started college where I decided to pursue acting as a course and I made some really cool friends. Just look at all these people who I'm friends with. You guys are awesome. And then there came a time where I turned 18 and it meant that I was officially an adult. And the first thing that I did whilst being 18 was spontaneously getting a tattoo done. I was also told at this time that I would officially be going to America after years of trying to go and I was going for something really cool. So 2015 came around and I hopped on a flight for nine hours to Orlando, Florida, and I would be going to America for Playlist Live. Despite being interrogated as soon as I got to America, I knew that from that point it could only mean good things. Whilst I was at Playlist Live, I met some really cool YouTubers who I have been watching for years, people such as Zoella and Tyler Oakley, and also while I was at Playlist Live, I just decided to be really spontaneous and do whatever I wanted. But all good things must come to an end at some point, and it was time to leave America, and I was so sad. And that pretty much is my life so far. I mean, I'm now into my 19th year, and I've done so much. And also, today is exactly four years in the making since I started my YouTube channel. I mean, four years is crazy. I mean, next year's gonna be five, and that's gonna be even more crazy. But yeah, four years is weird. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my Draw My Life video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And like, comment, subscribe, and share the love. See ya!